The monument behind me stands as a reminder as one of the hottest nights that Union County has ever known. On July the 9th, 2012, we will remember the 14th anniversary of the Union Mill Fire. This fire was a fire response that will always be remembered by Union County responders as one of the hottest ever. While firefighters were unable to save the Union Mill, they were able to prevent major damage from any of the houses or structures around the mill. There were many heroic efforts that went on that night, a lot of them unnoticed. What you're about to see will give you a better understanding of the events and the bravery that went into July the 9th, 1998. Joining us now is Mr. Ralph Greer, a longtime reporter from Union County. Mr. Ralph, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. Tell me a little bit about what you remember about the Union Mill fire. Well, my neighbor, uh, Mabel Fowler, who has passed away since then, but anyway, she called me sometime up in the morning and uh, she said, the power's off. And I said, well, Mabel, you know, go on back to bed. She said, but the power's off. So I called the police station and, and I, uh, I asked them what was wrong and they said there was a fire at Union Mill. Mm -hmm. And that's how I found out about it. Mm -hmm. And so later I went uh, down and, and over on uh, Second Avenue and went up on one of the porches over there and shot some pictures and then later came down to where we are now mm -hmm. and, and shot some uh, right, in, right in this area here. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, it, it was a spectacular event, it really was. What was one of the most memorable um, moments or, or photos in your mind of that night? Just the overall, just the overall picture of that entire meal burning. And, uh, and knowing that, that I'd been associated with it all my life, just about all my life, and, uh, and remember seeing after, after the, afterwards the, the tower still there, and my dad who worked there in one of the towers. And uh, it just brought back a lot of memories and a lot of sad memories too. Mm -hmm. How do you think it affected the community after that night? Very much so, uh, because of the fact that you can see that What's, what's happened since that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, at, at, cer at one time there, there were plans for the mill store and the mill uh, offices to be, become a visitor center, uh, theater in the round and all that. Even though it, they were not damaged at all by the fire, they were torn down, demolished. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it, it's a shame. Mm -hmm. It really is that we couldn't have had a visitor center and a theater this close to Main Street, downtown. Yeah. As you look over the site today, what do you think about the changes that you see as we speak right now? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I was, I was raised on the Mill Hill, mm -hmm. and, uh, and everybody knew everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody locked their doors. Mm -hmm. And now you look at it and there's so many empty, empty lots. Uh, in fact, my my uh, my parents live just in this in this particular lot right here, mm -hmm. on the on the other corner, mm -hmm. and there were three two-story houses along here where we are now, mm -hmm. and uh, they're all gone and they've made it into a, a very nice little park, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's sad, it mm -hmm. really is, and 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 I want to commend you for doing what you're doing because of the fact that we need to something to pass along to people to know what mm -hmm. what it took place and what uh transcribed on that night and how those men worked so hard mm -hmm. and uh, trying to protect the properties of the of the people mm -hmm. and i saw i saw the metal siding on houses melted uh back over in here i think where where the bonham fire department was mm -hmm. and uh and they uh it was just it, it, you had to be there, mm -hmm. honest, to, to to realize what had happened. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all since since I I'd retired from the fire department, uh, I I didn't participate in the fire, mm -hmm. so I I can't I didn't I hate it because I missed it to be mm -hmm. honest with you, but they wouldn't have wanted an old man there anyway <laughs> at that particular night. But just just to see what little dreams that people had go up, and 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 I want to want to honor these people who went to the trouble to do this because at one time nobody seemed to want to remember it at all mm -hmm. and these these employees got together 
and they they did this, and I think they're to be commended. At least we have one one memorial here that will be a reminder if someone just takes the time to come by and see it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you you can't you can't imagine to see things that you've watched all your life go up in flames like mm -hmm. those things did, mm -hmm. and 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 it it it, 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 it was a heart rendering thing. It really was. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for being with us here, Mr. Greer. We appreciate you coming out and reminiscing a little bit about the hottest night ever. Thank you so much. <laughs> and now we present the Union Mill Fire, July the 9th, 1998, the hottest ever. For Van Man Video Productions, I'm Tiffany Garner-Littlejohn.